Hey everybody, this is going to be a real short tutorial on how to add first person legs to the multiplayer zombie survival template. So if I hop into the game, I'll show you what it looks like. If you look down, you can see your legs. You can move around, put your head in first person. You can go to third person, first person, and everything's good. So it's really easy. What we're going to do is we'll just go to the characters folder, base character, and open up the third person character. And in the viewport, what uh, the easiest way to do it is you can just click on the third person character and right click and duplicate him. And I just named it first person legs. Then I just grabbed the little arrow widget down here and scooted him back a little bit. So you can see here, I put it at like negative 45. And then you need to go up to the details panel and type in owner. You want to make sure it's set to owner no C and only owner C. Then you want to go down to the function called, we're going to search for it, uh, on rep is in first person. It's right here, on rep is in first person. Open this function and it looks like this. And right after the hide third person mesh, I'm going to copy this same node right here. I copy, pasted it right here. And you want to uncheck the box and plug in your first person legs. So you'd find first person legs over here and drag it into the graph like this and then connect it up. So this is the two, this is what you would add right here. And make sure you connect it in between this node and this node. Make sure it's unchecked. And then down here, you would do the opposite. Make sure it's checked. And I mean, you do the same thing, just make sure the box is checked. So this will hide the legs. This will show the legs. And this is for when you're toggling between first and third person. And then the last thing we need to do is go to the construction uh, graph. Let me see here how we. Everything's minimized. There we go. Under functions, there's a construction script. You can double click that to open this up. And what I did was I used this right here, hide bone by name. I just got the first person legs, dragged off of them and say hide bone by name. Click that. It creates this. And I hid the spine underscore zero three because when I looked at the mannequin, uh, spine zero three was right here. So anything above the spine 03 would get hidden. So you would see from here down, which is the legs and the torso. And you can adjust that bone to whatever your specific character bone name is or whatever you think looks good for you. Um, and the last thing, uh, usually you would use a set master pose component, which would set the animations for the legs to use the animation as the other character. But I don't have actual leg, just the leg models. Like if you wanted to go into Blender or something and take this mesh and cut it off of the waist and use just the legs, then, you, then it would probably work to use this right here. But I don't have it. So I just used the mesh and that's why we use the hide bone by name. And instead I just set it to the his animation blueprint to the same animation blueprint as the normal character, which is the Anna BP third person shooter. And there you go. And then that shows his, uh, his legs. And then of course you can adjust the shadows. So what I did, I just clicked on his first person legs, typed in shadows. I made sure he's not casting a shadow. I unchecked those boxes. And then on the actual third person character himself, He's casting a shadow, and I made it where hidden shadow right here. Make sure that's checked check to true. Hidden shadow makes it where even if the third person character, if the mesh is hidden, like like it is in first person, it'll still cast a shadow even though you can't see it. And if you want to do the same for the weapons, you can do that. So like this first person weapon blueprint, um, you can browse to the parent weapon blueprint. Open up Parent Weapon Blueprint. Here it is, and you can just click on anything. Like I do the third person. Anything, uh, your third person weapon. So the third person weapon mesh, you would go to Shadow, 
and under hidden shadow you would make sure that's checked to true so that way when you hop into the game you are looking at your third person uh, shadow and third person weapon even though you're in first person so it looks like you're all good to go and then you can see your legs move around crouch jump and that's how you can do it all right so that's a quick little tutorial on how to do that uh, hopefully that helps I know everybody likes the the little things the little details that make all the difference in games so maybe that helps uh, before I end the video though let's just because someone will ask me if I go to uh, the characters and child characters you have all these different colored characters so let's say you are playing as the green character uh, you could do the same thing that you do with the arms and the mesh here if you wanted his legs to be green you would take the first person legs and you would do the same thing I think you can no, I can't. You have to copy and paste it. So you would just copy and paste these same um, nodes here and plug it into that. And then if I go ahead and play as the green character, which I think I have to go to the lobby to do. Like green. Close the game. Go to this. Now you can see my legs are green. And you could do that for whatever character. But that's... You get the point. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that all uh, helps out. So uh, thanks. See you around.